Time for a look at what films are hitting theaters and home screens this weekend. Joining us live is our film critic, Richard Krause. Great to see you, Richard. Let's talk about Ben Affleck. Nice to see you. Deep Water. What did you think of his latest I flick? Yeah, this one's on Prime Video, so you can watch it at home. Uh, it's being billed as an erotic thriller, although it is neither erotic or all that thrilling. Uh, it is the story of a married couple, Ben Affleck and uh, Anna de Armas. Uh, they've been married for some time. Their uh, marriage is starting to go stale, though, and she begins having a series of very high-profile, very public affairs. When her boyfriends start to go missing, uh, suspicion turns to Ben. And, you know, this movie uh, should have had a lot going for it. It's got two uh, very appealing actors in the lead. Uh, you've got kind of an interesting story. It's based on a Patricia Highsmith uh, novel that has lots of intrigue in it. But somehow it just falls flat from almost the very opening scene. And it never picks up steam after that. So Deep Water, now on Prime Video. I'm only giving it two out of five stars. Okay, how about the outfit? Does it do better? It sure does. Uh, I like this one. This is in theaters this weekend. Uh, Mark Wylance, the British stage superstar and Oscar winner, plays an English tailor who's working in Chicago. He's got a, a small tailor shop where he makes suits primarily for the gangsters who work in his neighborhood. He doesn't care what they do for a living. He wants to stay out of their business, but eventually he becomes involved over one long kind of fateful night uh, in the business and he has to use his wits to outlast and outsmart the gangsters who have invaded his shop. And what I love about this movie is that it really proves that you don't need big action set pieces and shootouts and all sorts of things uh, to make a, an intense edge-of-your-seat thriller. This is more like a play. It takes place in two rooms. There's only a handful of characters, and it's all about the script. It's all about uh, the, the dynamics of the performances. I gave it four to five stars and it's playing in theaters right now wow okay just because you could doesn't mean you should right there's a new <laughs> version of cheaper by the dozen yeah, this is the third version of this story. First was in 1950, then in 2003 with Steve Martin, probably the most famous one. Uh, now on Disney+, Plus, you have Zach Braff and Gabriel Union playing a married couple uh, who have blended their families together. She brings three kids from a former marriage. He has three from a former marriage. Then they have two sets of twins and 10 kids and a very full house. And this is uh, a movie that is about uh, the importance of family, which the others were as well. They try and update the story a little bit by adding in uh, subplots dealing with racism, dealing with privilege. Uh, but ultimately, at the very end of the day, this is a story that you'll see what's coming, you know, a mile away. Uh, but for the whole family on a Saturday night, maybe if you're not going out, uh, you could do worse. It's called Cheaper by the Dozen. I gave it two and a half out of five stars, and it's on Disney Plus right now. All right, you could do worse. Yeah, maybe deep water. All right, let's talk about <laughs> The Master. How'd you find that? This one is on Prime Video as well. Uh, and this is an interesting story about a, a first-year college student who goes to a, an old uh, an old school uh, university in New England, uh, which is built on the site of a Salem uh, witch hunt era gallows. And so there's a lot of weird vibe in the school. Uh, and the room in particular that she lives in, in her dorm, room 203, is notorious because strange things happen there. She's also one of the few African-American students on the uh, campus. So what you have here is a story that mixes and matches uh, issues of racism and, and real-life horror in that way and the supernatural element. And for me, it worked best uh, when it was concentrating on the real-life stuff. So I gave Master three and a half out of five stars, and you'll find it on uh, Amazon Prime right now. All right, let's wrap with another horror, Richard. This one is called simply X. Yeah, you'll have to go to the theaters to see this one. And this kind of has a Texas Chainsaw Massacre sort of vibe to it, uh, although there are no power tools involved. It is the story of a group of city slickers who decide to go to the country to make a, a porno because they figured they can make big bucks in the home uh, video market. This is set in 1979. They don't tell the farmer whose farm they've rented what they're getting up to. When the farmer finds out, he is displeased and his wife is even more displeased. And then one 
one by one, the actors start going missing. Uh, so this is, uh, to my, for my money, one of the best horror films we've had uh, coming along for a while now. Uh, it does uh, have some, like, extremely uh, kind of gross and gory scenes, which kind of made me cover my eyes a little bit. But it felt to me like uh, a tribute to movies like uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the Toby Hooper movies, Wes Craven movies, but also has its eye to the future as well with a, a bit more of a modern sensibility. So I gave X, now playing in theaters, three and a half out of five stars. All right. Thank you so much, Richard Krauss. We always appreciate Thank your you. reviews, and we know that the weekend is near. Have a great one. <laughs> That's right. You too, Rashmi. Talk to you soon.